Let's talk about the future of mobile cameras. So the main thing is that the mobile cameras has now improved quite a lot as like many years ago people would say oh the mobile phone cameras is that's not professional can't really use it in like movies and nowadays it has so much improvement that the quality is so crazy it's even with the yeah lenses that it now have it just competes with the markets of like a lot of the different entry-level cameras what is also competing with is of course the lenses so last year we've seen the including uh, portrait lens the normal lens of course and then the ultra wide angle lens on the mobile phones and that has competed with those lens accessories so in hong kong i can already see there's a lot of shops stop selling those and also a lot of shops are a lot of them disappearing because the thing is with the phone already having those multiple lenses you don't really need to add a lens onto your phone to get those kind of shots and also it always has been a hassle to add those lenses to your phone because you need to grab it out of your bag need to mount it make sure that you align it and then take a photo so it took just way more time than just direct grabbing your phone out of your camera choose the lens you want, take a photo. We much more different of a uh, workflow, but also it including that wide angle, it's stepped into the territories of the action cameras. So the entry level action cameras, we've also seen a lot of them disappearing, and especially like the knockoffs from China has been uh, slowly slowly becoming smaller and smaller even though they have tried to include also the gimbal like stabilization that thing is like what has kept the market of the action cam alive for the last year because last year like people were or the action cameras basically used this as their main gimmick but that gimmick is up for this year so 2020 I'm pretty sure that there will be a company adding that gimbal-like stabilization chip inside of their mobile phone. And with their mobile phone already having that ultra-wide angle lens, that makes everything much more different. Because it enables you to just, yeah, just walk about and directly film uh, without being worried about crazy shakes in your shots. Of course, at night it won't be super smooth because also with all the action cameras those gimbal like stabilizations just only work when there's enough light at light you might just still need to use a gimbal but uh, for daytime just normal vlogging for a lot of things you can just use that uh, built-in electronic stabilization to get your shots so they make a lot of things much easier and yeah that would seep into that people not purposely need to get a mobile phone gimbal unless they um, yeah need to do very specific shots like a jib shots moving up and down and left and right those might not be that well done with just holding your mobile and moving it like that and with it on a gimbal it's much easier but yeah mobile phones will definitely get that stabilization this year and that will be a big game changer especially the first one having that gimbal like stabilization last year the s10 already have like stabilization however it was not that super super smooth yet so one year later now uh, this year 2020 the s20 i'm pretty sure they will add that gimbal like stabilization and be really smooth with it however this is not really the biggest thing that i feel that will change in the mobile phones so the biggest thing for me that will change is the 360. so you might think um yeah insta one r just released and um yeah there's also a lot of 360 cameras that aren't really selling that well however the main thing with 360 cameras it's never really been like the issue of the 360 camera itself it's always been the workflow even though the 360 cameras actually uh, 
is actually a market that is growing and we can see that there's a lot of people using it and mostly using it for a lot of uh, yeah cropping the shots afterwards so they can film 360 around and then uh, yeah change the angle inside of the post and that thing is just making a lot of things much easier instead of having to make sure that you're filming yourself correctly you just need to hold it and it films everything around you already and just need to capture or frame it afterwards in the edit but you might think how will it be possible on your phone but honestly it's already possible but the thing is just nobody maybe had thought about it so last year or actually a few years ago um, Fusion Lens made a 360 lens for iPhones. So the Fusion Lens is a lens that you can add to your phone and it uses the front and back lens of the iPhone. And iPhone had like a more open SDK that you could directly record the front and back camera at the same time. So that he made use of. And then basically add a lens in front of the two lenses and uh, yeah, enables it to capture that uh, 360 degrees field of view it is already possible but you might think it maybe is is your phone able to be fast enough to also do all the stitching inside but honestly like a lot of the cameras don't do stitching inside so like GoPro Fusion and such uh, don't do actually stitching at all the stitching is all done with your phone so yeah basically your phone has the hardware the basically a lot of things uh, it can already do just need to have the lens for the 360 so a company needs to just develop that lens to be directly on the camera itself it might stick out a little bit to enable it to cover or film that 360 but still that is just the only thing they need to do because everything is already there so the 360 for me that will be the biggest game changer and I highly doubt Samsung will be the first even though Samsung has like the gear 360 and the technology and the software for 360 but I don't think they uh, are that crazy to do that so the more yeah innovative more pushing forward kind of companies would be more one of the Chinese companies and several Chinese companies already are having a 360 camera next to their phone so it's very interesting to see how or which of them will be the first because that is going to be a big game changer and going to be changing the market quite a lot so you can directly just use your phone and film a 360 photo and just crop it after or just uh, push out a 360 photo on your social media directly so that is going to be quite an interesting change and that will definitely eat into the market of uh, 360 cameras even though I don't think they would do it that it will be like uh, going 8k on your phone uh, for a 360 but at least 4k ish or 5.7k ish kind of quality that will be already enough so it's mostly for people enable them to play with 360 directly on their phone and yeah those are the things that I feel like 2020 or maybe further in the future we will see on the phone definitely the hyper smooth will be this year or the gimbal like stabilization will be this year and the biggest deal in the future will be the 360 camera directly on the phone so if you agree with me uh, please comment below if you disagree or have other ideas for what might bring to mobile photography or mobile cameras in the future please comment below let's have a discussion and um, yeah if you really like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and want to see more videos like this please hit that subscribe button here below and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you the next time bye bye